You may have heard about a new feature in JavaScript called async await. It's a great way to work with promises, because it makes asynchronous code look like regular synchronous code, which is easier to understand. In this example, we're fetching two parts of a page separately. We've got a blog post, and we've got some comments. We can change this to use async await pretty easily. We await on each fetch so that we can use the results without having to nest any callbacks. Much easier to read. But you might notice that I've made a fairly common mistake. I've accidentally changed the behavior of the code so that things don't happen in parallel anymore. In the original code, you can see that both of the fetch calls happen in the outer function, and they get resolved independently in whatever order they finish. But in the new code, the await on the first fetch means that nothing else will happen until it resolves, including the second fetch. You can fix this pretty easily by moving the awaits until after both promises have been started. So we hold on to the promises from each fetch and await on the values when we actually need them. And there you have it. Both fetches can happen in parallel again, and async await still makes the code look much simpler. So you may notice I'm not Surma, but don't worry, I'm just here doing a guest tip. If you'd like to watch a previous episode with Surma in it, you can click over here. Or if you'd like to find out when new episodes are made, you can click subscribe.